वेलकम टू टेक इंटरव्यू हब दी इंटरव्यू अश्विता या व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन वायर लेट एंड कॉन्स्ट सर वेयर वायर इज फंक्शन स्कोप्ड बट लेट एंड कॉन्स्ट आर ब्लॉक स्कोप्ड वायर इज री असाइनेबल एंड री डिक्लेरेबल एंड होइस्टिंग इज आल्सो पॉसिबल इन वायर कमिंग टू द कॉन्स्ट एंड लेट दे आर कॉन्स्ट आर नॉट री डिक्लेरेबल एंड री initialable but yeah. uh, let is re initialable not re declarable okay. i shared one code snippet with you okay what will be the value of console dot logs here per first console log it will be undefined okay after two it gives a uh, reference error or b and c both ah both sir. okay why reference error because hoisting is possible in only where sir but uh, not uh, possible in let and const it throws okay. a reference okay but suppose if i declare a variable with const can i redeclare okay. it again with the same name no sir what if i do it with where is okay, it possible ah uh, possible what are the different data types in javascript data type primitive yeah. and non primitive data types coming okay. to the primitive uh, int null boolean begin to coming to the non primitive array objects functions etc okay can you write one code there console dot log or just one double equals to string one one inside mm -hmm. string yeah what will it give true sir why because uh, it is loose equality in this string mm -hmm. converted in, uh, it doesn't uh, compare the type it only compares the value okay what if we give triple equals to there it give false okay i'm giving you one html snippet mm, okay now will you select each of these elements in javascript keshvita so by using document dot get element by id what about line number 15 and 17 coming to yeah, the class is, also yeah first one is correct class also use document dot get uh, class name okay and what about the third one uh, i don't know sir okay now uh, what is the difference between query selector and query selector all query selector uh, suppose we are using here class no sir mm -hmm. uh, by using query selector uh, the javascript uh, modifies only these p element but uh, we use query selector all uh, giving class uh, in html page how many class uh, uh, we give to the element all are modified mm -hmm. i think so okay so the first one what did you said get element by id right yes sir. okay second you said get element by class name class name mm -hmm. okay similarly the third is if you are not having any id or class there you can uh, use if it is possible you can use the tag name here you can give it like document dot get elements by tag name okay so we have this button tag no there but if it yes, is sir. only once mm. then yes, we sir. can go with it but if there are multiple buttons then it is uh, good to go with id or class i mean you have to put okay. their id or class okay what is the type of object type of object i think so object only. and what about type of array type of array also object sir Okay. Okay. Uh, can you write there console dot log? Console dot log. Inside that two plus two plus string two string two string. Mm. Okay. Two two. Yeah. Just mm. write two inside string. Yeah. Okay. What will it give? Twenty two sir. Why? Because uh, plus symbol before the string it treat as concatenate uh, operation. Good. Good. Can you write a code to reverse any string? Yes sir. Sir, complete. Yeah. Okay. Could you please run it? Come in the other code. It will give you an error. Oh, okay. What error you are getting? Sir, I am. Yeah, there.
is it i plus plus or i minus minus line number twenty three minus yeah okay so it's a what are the different ways to create an object for a object object dot yeah object let object equal to object okay that is the first flower way. brace a uh, flower brace is used yeah yeah okay other ways there are multiple ways actually actually multiple but i know only that one. okay nice you can go with object dot assign is also there then function constructor is also there yeah yes sir i heard about function constructor but uh... mm, yeah okay. so can you write one array there ashwita mm, just yes, write sir. const array const you had to use reduce method to find the sum of all numbers in an array yes sir yeah sir i hope it can what is a and b sir one is current value accumulator and current value So, what is the difference between find and filter method? So, filter method can filter the elements and return a new array with our desired okay. method, sir. Coming to the find, it is mm -hmm. helps us to find the our desired element present in the array or not. Okay. Can you write one thing there? Console dot log array dot yes, filter, and we are just returning the number. Array dot Filter. filter, yeah. Uh, num. Okay, and it returns num only. When this code runs, what will it do? Same array, sir. Why? Because we are not passing any logic now, sir. Okay, and what about map? Suppose if we give there array dot map, okay. can you remove the filter? Uh. Right there, map. Uh. Okay, and instead of returning num, we give num plus plus. Yes, sir. Yeah. Num plus plus. Hmm. It also gives same array, sir. Why same array? Because here we are using post increment, sir. First in console hmm. log it will print same value, but next console okay. log it will print updated value. Yeah, that correct is it. And what okay. about for each? For each, we use for each method to looping the array or array. Say. If we add here array dot for each, and we are returning num plus plus. It give array elements one by one, sir. Two five like. Can you write that instead of map? Just write there for each. Okay. Amend the other code. One. Okay, before you run it, could you please tell me what is the difference between map and for each method? Sir, map it returns new array with our desired logic, sir. Yeah, correct. But for each is a looping method used for array, mm -hmm. sir. Does for each return array or not? No, sir. It returns step by step, I think, one by one yeah. element. So what will be the output here? Ah, uh, can you just type there? What do you think the output will be? Sir, two, five, eight, uh, like no. this. For each doesn't return anything, is it? You can run the code. Mm. Okay, sir. It will give you undefined. Sir, here, some syntax okay. error is there. Okay, here things undefined. It gives you undefined. Okay, sir. What are promises in JavaScript? Promises is an object. It represents the eventual completion of the asynchronous operation. Okay. So if we have promises, then why do we use async await, or why do we have async await in JavaScript? Can't we go with promises? So we we are using with async await. It the mm -hmm. code will look like synchronously, sir. Okay, correct. So do you know what is array destructuring? Mm, yes, sir. Could you please write an example of array destructuring? Okay.
here when we console log a it gives one mm -hmm. sir okay. and console log b it gives two okay okay just write there const array two or array one yeah mm -hmm. is equals to just array mm -hmm. right there array okay now if you add something in array one will it affect in array or not yes sir it affects sir. why so because he, here array one is sharing the reference of array sir okay so how can we avoid it by using observe uh, j something i seen in deep copy yeah yeah right? yes that's correct we have to create the deep copy then what are the ways to create a deep copy something like json yeah St stringify yes. of json yes, dot one more is there then yeah structured clone is there now okay. uh ashvita let's move to the okay. react part so what are all hooks you have worked with or you are aware of sir i know just basics of the react sir i use use state and use effect some some okay. part of use ref okay. so what is the difference between state and props uh, props are immutable when passing parent to child mm -hmm. coming to the state it is used to change the value inside the function components by using use state hook Would you please open any React compiler? Oops. Yeah, first one is fine. Uh, you, you know what are control components? Yes, sir. Control components are com controlled by the React state. Okay. And what are uncontrolled components? Uncompon uncontrolled components are controlled are not in the control of React. It controls okay. by using ref. Fine. Okay. Can you please write and use effect hook? Okay. What is the dependency array? Sir, dependency array. Uh, I mean, based on this dependency array, the use effect function will run, sir. Okay. And what if we do not give it? If I remove that dependency array, I mean, don't pass there Then any dependency array. What will happen? It runs on every page render, sir. Okay. And what if we give any particular value there? Uh, at the time of that value is changed, then the use effect array is run, sir. I think when the condition meet, then the then the function is rendered. Uh, can you show an an example? I mean, can you write no, there? No, sir. I don't know. This. Hey, it's a simple one. Ah, uh, suppose we are having any state, for example, is logged in or something. If user is logged mm -hmm. in, then we are showing the welcome message. Otherwise, we are showing the login button only. Okay. How do you pass the data from child component to parent component? Is sir, by using props, sir. How? I'm I'm saying from child to parent, not from parent to child. Child to parent. No, sir, no idea. Okay, we pass the callback function as prop and call that okay. function. Inside the child component. Okay. Uh, are you aware of a Redux architecture? Redux. No, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Then I'll give you one simple task. Okay. okay. You have to create one component, Aswita, which has two buttons. One is to increase the counter, and one is to decrease it. So okay. when you click on the increase button, the count should go up by five, and when you click on the decrease button, the count should go down by two. Okay, sir. So here in count variable, I'm storing zero value of zero, sir. Okay. Now I'm creating another function to increase okay. the count. Okay. No need of creating another. Yeah, you can directly write it inside. Ah, yeah, directly. Yes, sir. Written is already there. Line oh, number no. seven. Okay. No, I am using fragment. Okay. Why do we use that? So because in React, oh, it present only one root element. Mm hmm. More than one, it throws an error. So we wrap it into a fragment. Okay. 
Nice with that. It won't work, no. Sir. It it won't work, no. What you are giving there? Count. What is the button name? You have to write there button name. Button. Yeah, count. You can have a separate view for count for showing the count. Oh. Okay. Sir, I think it was. You have to show the count as well, no? Okay. Yeah. Instead of hello world, you can write their count. Count. Yeah. Now you have to wrap it in curly braces. What issue is giving? You use state is not different. You have to import use state. Import. Now what is the issue? Too many rear enders. Why it is rear. giving you that issue? The issue is in line number nine and ten. First of all, nine you change the on click. The typo error is there. C is capital. Okay, okay. It is giving you too many re-renders. Why? Yes. Maybe some syntax error in set you, count. Or... Yeah, you cannot pass set count directly there. You have to pass a callback function on click. If you directly write there, no set count count plus yes. value, okay. it will get. Re-render every time before you click the button. Okay. Yeah. Now it will work. Now if you click on increase, yeah. Okay. Uh, what are inline and block level elements? Sir, block level elements can occupy the overall space in the page, sir. Entire the space in that line, but inline elements only occupy that mm -hmm. required space. Sir. Okay. So. What is the difference between display none and visibility hidden? Do you know these properties? Ah uh, yes, sir. Uh, by using display none, uh, mm -hmm. the picture will disappear, but the space is preserved. I think so, sir. And that is in case of visibility hidden. Visible. Okay. Sir. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's it, Swetha.